YouTube, Camper Van Kevin, coming to you this morning from RV Base Camp. There's Felix back there in the background. Yesterday when I got home, Felix come in from work. Uh, Felix works at a auto insurance location. And what they do, uh, insurance companies from all over bring in their wrecks to be processed there. Wrecked cars, trucks, RVs, planes, buses, whatever. And Felix works there uh, helping process and get the vehicles in. Well, yesterday he told me, I'm going to let him tell the story better. Let's go see him this morning. You old Felix here, he's just a big old softy. Hey, Felix, yeah. I got the candid camera going this morning. I told everybody uh, what you do for a living, and you come in yesterday. Can you tell me what you've gone and done? Well, we found some baby kittens. They're about, I'd say about five or six days old, probably seven. Yeah. And they were in a car. And they were inside a car for maybe two days. When we went to inspect the car, we found them in there. Their eyes haven't opened yet. And Felix has, uh, he's been feeding them and trying to take care of them. But I think they need a little bit more help than we can give oh, them. Oh, yes, definitely. I, 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 they really haven't been, been eating much. It's yeah. been hard. Yeah. This big softy here, he had the best intentions. Nobody else was going to do anything for them. So, uh, he was going to try to help them and, uh, this guy right here deserves a lot of credit. He loves animals. Look at there. Yeah, I think they're a little, little weak. Yeah. Been a long time without their mama. So the car was probably wrecked somewhere. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it was not being moved or used. And the mama kitty found thought it was a safe place we, for the babies. We, we're thinking, we're, we were thinking they were probably from, 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 from there, but... It's been so long we haven't seen cats. Yeah. Because we don't see the, uh, they usually, a nail, whatever, they'll climb on top of the cars and they'll leave the footprints. Right. And it's been a long time we haven't seen footprints. So either the car was moved after Mama Kitty had the babies in them, probably or... Probably when they brought when, when they brought the car, they were probably in there. So we called a, uh... <clears throat> the car was there for like two days before we checked it. We called a shelter. We talked to our good friend, uh, Pat, that works at um, our local vet. Mm -hmm. And she says it's really beyond what we could be able to do. Yeah, and it's, 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 I, I Googled and I try to do what the videos say, but it's, it's more for a professional. So we're going we're gonna to go to the uh, animal I, shelter this morning. They have people that this is what they do. I called the, the place and they told me, bring them in. Bring them in. Okay, so let's, let's all go for a ride. Morning, Foxy. How are you, Fox? Oh, she got uh, she got spayed and she got her hormones straight, and she's very happy. She doesn't know what to do well with the babies. And she's a mama. She's had several litters herself, but she don't know what to do with these. She was in the seat last time when I put it, I put I put the box here. Yeah. And I come in and she was on that seat watching them all night. Huh. But she don't know. Okay, well let's get on up the road and get these babies some help. Yep. We'll take you guys with us. Okay, big dog. Hello. We got the babies back here. Man, your heart was in the right place. Yeah. But you... There's things we can't do. There's things, no. pe there's things people can do better than us. Professionals. So Felix, tell, tell us what's going on with your uh, air conditioner in your Suburban. Well, Mr. Bill, the Ford man, he's working on my uh, air conditioner. On your Chevrolet, right? On my Suburban, on my Chevy. He's a Ford man, but he does Chevys. Yeah. You better do Chevys. And uh, low pressure switch. Low pressure switch. And they st he put a, there's supposed to be another leak on it, so he's been working on it today. 
And this poor guy right here, he works outside in the sun, and he kind of liked the idea of getting in that uh, big old suburban of his and dropping it down so cold in there you can hang me. And uh, well, his suburban, he bought it almost a year ago now. Yeah. And we, we did a video when we went and got it. I'll put the the video up here in the top right hand corner there's a little, the little card you can click it but they sure has been a good service to him oh yeah how much you get for that thing 25 25 and it had new air conditioning uh new air conditioner in it yeah. but it sure has treated him good now we just got to figure out how to get air conditioner in this thing yeah <laughs> that's the only thing wrong with my tracker i know i talk about it all the time but it sucks <laughs> Anyway, I had all my Samurais, and I had two that had air conditioning. I never did use it. I always had the top of the doors off, so I don't think it'd be a big issue on this tracker. But I'm all, I'm turning into an old man now. It's kind of an issue. <laughs> I love air conditioning. Hey, Felix, I sure hate doing this, but it's the right thing to do. Low cost spay neuter. If everybody would fix their animals, who wouldn't have this problem? Yep. That's not how it works. I tell you, I get kind of tore up coming in here, Felix. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I've never been in here. Let's see what happens. I might come out with a kitty cat. A little piggy. <laughs> I ain't going to say it. A little piggy. I ain't going to say it. Staff, are, are, are they closed? So we're here at the Madison Oglethorpe Animal Shelter. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> you're, you're a nosy little thing, aren't you? Yeah. You have any little dogs available? We do. Um, in this, if you go down this hallway and to the right, there's our puppy room, but there's a lot of small breed dogs in there right now. Wow. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Do you mind if I take a picture? Sure. So this is what Those the... are going to be pretty big size. Yep, yep. You guys able to place most of these animals? Oh, yeah. For the most part. I mean, like older animals, some people just don't like older animals. She's sweet. <laughs> she's just scared. I got the teeth. She must not like men. She likes to smile. No, she smiles. Oh, she smiles? Yeah, she smiles. Oh, God, I got to get a picture of that. It doesn't look like a smile to me. <laughs> That'll get her a home. Mm -hmm. Feel pretty good about placing her. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You looking for a home? Hmm? Are you looking for a home today? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. 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 Hey, love. Hey, love. How are you? It's curly fry. Curly fry. So sad. Hey babies. Hey babies. Hey babies. Hey babies. Hey babies. Hello. Hey 
babies. Somebody will see you. Maybe somebody will see you and come get you. Yeah. Call you doorbell. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweeties. Oh, I, can't, I can't take you all home. I can't. biggest fears is something happening to me and my babies end up in a place like this. How horrible would that be? kittens everybody needs a home huh everybody needs a home everybody needs a home here's some adult kitties here's some adult kitties oh my Must be hard, huh? <laughs> and then this is Walker. He works here at the uh, Old Court Madison Animal Shelter. And they were, I uh, overheard him talking, you had 30 kittens in foster um, care? About 30 kittens in foster care and about 100 cats at the, um, at the shelter right now. Wow. So you could use uh, some more uh, volunteers and... Definitely. We can always use volunteers. They are very appreciated. It helps socialize the cats. Right. And it just gets them familiar with people. So if you need a kitten or a cat... Come to Madison Oakthorpe Shelter. <laughs> cool. All right. see any cats they want that live close to here? Look at these sweeties. Yeah, look at these sweeties. Yeah. Yeah. 
I travel. I, I, my RV's full. I have like three dogs. Yeah. And this is the adult cat section. Hey. Oh, somebody's rubbing on my leg. Hey. Yeah. Who's hiding in there? I see you. I see you hiding. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with people? Huh? What's wrong with people? Why does this sweet kitty like you have a home, huh? Huh? Hey, Blackie. Hey, Blackie. Hey, pretty guy. Alright, big dog. I see you don't have a kitty cat or a dog, will you? I think it's time to go, right? No, there's any more? Kitty cat? Any, any more dogs? <laughs> We, we walk back through this main. Yeah, that's it, yeah. All right, well, I'm ready when you are, Felix. All right. Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you. Y'all coming into that parking lot. Yes, I was kind of solid with the flowers. Oh man, I can't stand that. It tore me up. What's that? It's all those little little puppies. Little souls needing a home. Yeah. yeah. It's not their fault they're here. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not a. Uh, a guy that owns 40 acres. Yeah. Because I think I have the whole place full of animals. Yeah. Do little will be short compared to me. Okay, Felix, I think it's time to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Your heart was in the right place trying to take care of yeah, those little yeah, cats. Yeah, I did the good deed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your heart, your heart's three times bigger than this, this than this Geo Tracker. Oh. Any, anybody ever give my good friend Felix here a hard time? I'll bop him upside the head. I'm lucky to have a friend as good as him. You should call yourself so lucky. Hey, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Made a lot of good friends since I started this channel. Now I got now I got good friends and friends all over the world. Okay, well, we're going to end the little video right here. If you saw any, uh, if you live kind of close and you saw any kittens, cats, dogs, puppies, anything that you like, it's the Madison Oglethorpe County Animal Shelter, and it's in uh, Comer, Danielsville, Georgia. Yep. You look up the number. All right, we're going to go. Get our, week, get our weekend started. Do something. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you later. Please.